Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Uh, this afternoon, uh, Filippo Vega, he updated Spring to Mice 2. Uh, if you scroll down here, you can see in this version, uh, he's got iPad, iPad 2, and iPhone iPhone 4S compatibility. He's got some cover flow dock effects that you can ingest. And uh, Transparent Notification Center, and then Dock Shadows, and those kinds of things were added. So if I go back to my settings here, as you can see, I have right now I have an 8x4 or 8x5 configuration. Um, and then if you go to my uh, portrait mode, I have a 5x6, so I have 30 icons per screen. And uh, also I have it set up so that I can move icons around however I'd like. So, I, I mean, I can have them, I can have spaces in there without blank icons. Uh, so anyway, you're limited to the number of icons you can have on, so I'm limited on my portrait mode, so I can't add any more icons, even though it looks like I should be able to in my landscape mode here. But uh, jumping into the settings here, which as you can see down here, uh, this cover flow mode here, you can see them tilted in and out. There's a couple different modes now for that. I'll go ahead and go into that first. The spring demise in your extensions. As you can see on your dock, you have your cover flow effect, I have that on, and you can also adjust that now. You can choose from concave, uh, convex, and then outside convex. I can turn that on and off. You can adjust the curve and effect and perspectives. Uh, so those kind of things you can add there. Uh, other things that he added, uh, he always had these high dock and those kinds of things. If you go into your icons here, you have set up a custom number for portrait and landscape mode. It's for the iPad. So I have five set up per row, and then landscape I have eight set up per row. I also have five rows enabled on the portrait mode. I believe it's also on the uh, landscape mode. I resize my icons. You can adjust those. A lot of this stuff hasn't changed. You can still hide your newsstands and those kinds of things. Uh, you can custom hide. You can hide just about any icon you like so you don't see it on your springboard. Uh, if there's anything else you guys would like me to go through, just drop a comment. But uh, otherwise, I have a video already out there uh, about Spring to Mice 2. And uh, the things that you can theme in the Time Machine allows you to save a, a specific icon state, wallpaper, those kinds of things, your settings for your Spring to Mice. You can save and then restore those. So you can have automatic backups and those kinds of things. Um, other than that, this tweak is $2.99. Uh, it's, it was only $0.99 cents if you had already bought the iPhone or the iPhone iOS 4 version, uh, if you if you own the Spring Demise first version, uh, I only paid 99 cents for this. So if you already uh, are you Spring Demise user, you can go out there and, and save a few bucks on this. It's another good reason to jailbreak your iPad. Uh, go ahead and check us out on iPadJailbreak.com, or you can also check out our videos at iPad Jailbroken. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks.